Hello and welcome to Iceman channel. I got my cup of coffee and ready for the video 3 in a series of low frequency sniffing for my patrons. I will put this away. Thank you to Spirit Reset for this lovely cup. And uh, yes, today we're going to look into a different reader. We've been looking into the pyramid readers. We're going to look into something called. Hello? GE, oops, there we are. GE High Tag 2 Reader. I got this one from a user in Australia. Thank you so much. It was a little complicated, but I got it. And remember, I don't want to do a public shout out if you want to be anonymous. Otherwise, just let me know. Make sure you get the credits for it. This is a High Tag 2 Reader. This is just a normal High Tag 2 card. And this is my beloved Reader Field plastic cover so I can measure things. And it will not be because I don't have the correct card for this one. Let's head over to the terminal and see what we can do. I already have put on my trusty plot screen. And like we did last video, we're going to go into timescale.h. We're going to add dash dash sr100. And I will have the time of a millisecond, so I get this little up here, milliseconds up here. And I want to do config, and it's no threshold. I want to add a threshold of, yeah, let's do it for zero now, because I want to show you what it looks like when we just try to get a full screen of the reader's uh, polling periods. All right, let's go for it. I have to put this one near to it. Like this. Well, I'm gonna do it like this. Put the box one down and put read above it so it's faster. And when you do this, you have to zoom out. Zoom out. And all of a sudden you start things happening. All of a sudden, oh, this is a good little thing, wasn't it? All of a sudden you see something different. You see one spike and a low spike, or the reverse polarity of that spike, or face, another spike. And another piece. So this is the polling period, and this is the polling interval between it sends it out. But what is this? Normally it should be just nothing. What's going on here? Oh, we can just see how long this is. It's about 164 milliseconds polling interval, and how long is the poll period? It's about yeah, 13 milliseconds. All right, cool. Let's do this. Yeah, well, let's me have to save this one for you guys so you don't have this. GE high tag 2 reader.pm3. Save this one so you can share it for you later on. And we will zoom in a little bit here. And we'll zoom inside. And I will cut away some stuff. Trim it out. And we see immediately the first field on. And it's about. 30, 40 samples, about 300 microseconds, and it goes back. And here you see something that the reader sends, and then is the off signal here, about 175, it goes up to 3 milliseconds, but then this is about here before it goes down. Yeah, all right, cool. I guess we carry a wave going up and down, oscillating back and forth. But what is this? What is it that we're looking at? We are looking at something called Reader Talks First. High tag is one of the more complex low frequency tags that is out there. It uses its own crypto. It's a version of a crypto uh, one crypto from the MyFair Classic from LXP. And it uses a version of it called High Tech 2. And it's also broken and we have some tools for that as well. But we are now just looking at the raw sniffs, right? So this is the signal that the reader is sending out. So we can see how long the period is, how long it does, and we can see at this signal, this start message from reader. Now the question is, what is it? What are we looking at? We're looking at uh, some kind of dip going on. Uh, yeah, I, see, I usually tend to look at these parts here when it crosses the middle line. I go here, and there's this one here. 13, all right, 
So down here, that's 15. And this whole thing is about 28. So all right, how long is that here? This part here, also 28. But here it's significantly slower or less width. That's 21, 21. And 21. Hmm. Now, if you don't know it, like I know, and if you read the data sheet I did too, uh, the reader talks to the card by something called binary pulse length modulation, meaning it sends a long pulse for a 1 and a shorter pulse for a 0. Now, the long phase, the phase as long as the whole period of time, let's see, let's go from Top to bottom here is 28 and normally it should start with a low phase and go with a high phase let's see if it's not about there so that's perfect so this part here should only be very much lower than I think it is so this is not a super good sniff let's see if I can get a better sniff I'm saying this because it, you don't see the low end so well. This time I'm going to go for a conflict threshold 20 because I don't want to have so much other things and I just want to do a sniff. Let's see if I zoom out again. Uh, what's that? Browse a little bit more. Got several of them. Some more. No, I don't think that's good enough. Let's do another one. Do like this. Just have on the sniff. There we go. Let's see if that's better. Uh, zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Uh, was that better? Oh, uh, that looks. This looks better. Uh, almost. Uh, well, anyway, let's see. Normally, this length here should about be between four and ten uh, samples uh, or field clocks at eight microseconds per per sample and uh, sample rate of one hundred twenty-five kilohertz. But it's not here, so we don't see that very well. And the rest here, I have to go my sheet sheets and said it should be between 26 and 32 units of field clocks. It's a 1, so this one is about 26. And the whole thing should be about 26. This is 30. This one here, so that's okay. I'm going to take it here from the lowest end because it starts from the bottom. This is 18 to this one. And this is not right. This is not right. Don't cross over that. Let's go for a crossover. 30. Yeah, so this be that's definitely a one with a low phase and a high phase. Of the total length of this is 30. So that would be a one. And if I do it here, it's also about 26. It's 29. That's what I'm looking at. Look at the distance. Zoom in more if you want to see the actual dots but it doesn't look worse here uh, we go next low face ah that's what it is it's inverted here and here's distance is 22 and for a zero the span should be 18 to 22 units so that's perfectly aligned to 22 this one is 21 and then this looks like a, is it one or zero? And this part here is too long, and this one here is too long, so this looks like a stop period or something. So this would mean here is a one, here is another one, here is a zero, here is a zero, oops, zero, and here is a zero, which happens to be the start off command of Hitech. Cool, isn't it? So this is how it looks like when you look at a reader port 
first, and then we send up again, go into this one here, this one this side. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Now, what happens if I put the high tag card below my notch? It's going to do this. So we're looking at the raw signals now. We're not going to do anything else. We're not going to do the high tag sniff. Dedicated commands for that. Starting up, and we do this. And now, when we, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. We zoom out. We see something else. Look at this. Look at this. Here's the start signal that we saw before. And here's the reader sending in 11000. And guess what? This is the card answering. And here is the reader answering back. And here is a Pause, so you can do a stop command because here is another reader talks first. We zoom out. Do they look the same? This part and this part looks the same, so it seems to be sending out the same number. That was not random, that would be a UID in this case. And the card is completed with another UID, and then the reader sends something and it doesn't like it's something like that of course then all of a sudden it goes back to sending out the read talks first it comes to another UID here is the reader saying something that the card is not responding to and it resets the communication and keeps on doing that that means that this reader is configured for a different mode than the card is so this is how this looks like we can or you can if you want to I would say this one as well and we will uh, they add it to the video uh, descriptions and I uh, will let you manually try to decode this part here. And with that, I will end this video. Until the next time, smash the like button and let me know in the comments below if you have a question or something.